Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, December 6th, and it is a crisp, chilly day here in southeastern Pennsylvania. Pretty much exactly what you would expect for December, so no, no worries there. Uh, I've got my Bari Billiard. Uh, it's actually a very pot-ish billiard. Uh, I don't know exactly what to call it, but it's a, it's a good smoking pipe. And I'm going to do the old reliable supported bookshop this morning um relatively early still i i have to admit i've been getting a late start the past couple days i've had some some issues sleeping not exactly sure what's going on there well i do know what's going on there i fall asleep after i eat dinner <laughs> and then and then it's hard for me to sleep at night when i normally do sleep so i have to have to stop my evening naps they're, they're getting in the way of a good night's sleep so I overslept a bit, but it's still early enough in the day, and got a few, few chores done today, and this morning rather, and uh, had some breakfast, and here we are. So let me get this lighted up, lighted up, lit up. Let's see if I was a real professional, by the way. I just love that. If I was a real professional, I would edit out that light it up thing, but I'm not a real professional, so. Uh, I do take pride in what I do, but I also know that you guys understand when somebody trips over their words, that's just part of life. Nobody's perfect. Nobody should try to be perfect. If anybody does wind up being perfect, we probably won't like them very much. It's actually the first smoke of the day. Um, I missed my normal uh, morning Carter Hall with coffee uh, just because I got up late and had to get other things done. So here we are. And that is one of the wonderful things about pipe smoking, of course. It's not a... It's not a habit. It's not something that you, you know, oh, I got to take time out of my life to smoke a pipe. It's never like that. It's just, it's just never like that. And, uh, makes it much more enjoyable. So I had a wonderful time yesterday on, uh, the virtual pipe club and I'll link to that show. Uh, in the in the description to this video, uh, David Dorian Ross is, does a great job with it, and the uh, the group that he has there is, is fantastic. They are primarily a Facebook group, from what I can gather, um, and I'm not a big Facebook guy, but uh, they're very welcoming, and a lot of you guys showed up uh, in the, in the chat, and <clears throat> it was great to see that. It was nice to know that I wasn't. Uh, wasn't without some some uh, some friends there uh not that they weren't all friendly you, you know what i mean but we just had a great time it was a nice chat uh talked about just about everything so if you get a chance and or if you just have a couple hours to burn uh check out the uh the virtual pipe club and in general you know give them a sub because i i i have and i'm i'm really looking forward to future shows and catching up on old shows as time permits because he's got a really nice format and he's had some fantastic guests. Uh, so we've reopened. The, uh, the shop is open. It never closed but I did stop taking orders while I worked on catching up on orders. So I actually only have been, you know, it's been about three or four weeks since I sent out the last pipe and I said okay I'll start to take orders now. I took that time because I wanted to do a little bit of work over in the, the corner of the shop where I sometimes um, uh, do some, some of my videos uh, because that's also a place where I'm setting up my temporary office. You know I've got an office upstairs, uh, it's a very nice office, big desk and everything. And, 
I never use it. And part of the reason is that I, I can sit down here and I can smoke cigars and pipes all day long and it doesn't bother my wife in the least bit. She never even knows it's happening. She's very tolerant, but at the same time, she's got a lot of allergy problems. This year has been particularly bad and I just try to not uh, smoke around her. It's because it seems to me, and she's actually never complained about it, but it just seems to me that if I'm smoking a lot, uh, she winds up coughing a lot more and I just I'm trying to eliminate that uh, that extra bit of uh, irritation so uh, that's what I'm doing and you know, I still have a, a pipe every evening uh, before I go to bed she usually goes to bed a bit before me so I'm sitting in our family room and I can do that we've got a, an air cleaner there and that doesn't seem to bother her. But if she's in the room with me or, you know, if she's upstairs where we both spend a lot of time sleeping, you know, I just don't want to do that. So anyway, that's why I'm, <laughs> I'm now living in the basement pretty much. So I wanted to get an area where I could work more comfortably and I did that. And why am I talking about this? Well, it's, it's because I wanted to tell you that the shop <laughs> is open for business. Uh, sorry, that was quite a, quite a tangent. But again, if I was a professional, I would, I would edit that out. Uh, so the way we're doing things now is we're, we're, I've got a waiting list. And the waiting list is currently, I think, at number 16. And you can see the waiting list by going to my website, canerodpipes.com, and look, clicking on the How to Order link at the top. And it'll say, uh, now serving customer number and right now it's number one of I think it's 16 so if you got in touch with me today uh, tomorrow at any point in the future of, of, of this moment um, and you were the next person to get in touch with me and you say oh, I'd like my pipe repaired I'll say fantastic I'll put you on the list you're gonna be number 17 or 18 depending on what the number is now one whatever the highest number is plus one <laughs> Um, here's a link where you can track progress and I'll be in touch with you when I'm finishing up the pipe before yours and the benefit of that is that then you can send me your pipe by the time it gets to me I will have sent out the previous pipe and your pipe gets my full attention uh, it's not going to be any faster to be honest with you because the, the, but, the, but the time you're waiting is time you're waiting with your pipe rather than sending me the pipe and then waiting that time. I'm more comfortable about that just because I can, you know, I, I don't have to worry about your pipe until it arrives in, in my hands. So I think that's a better way to go forward. We'll see how it goes. I mean, I'm a little nervous about being one of 17, and I think that that number will, will change quickly because quite a few of the jobs are. Uh, easy you know not, I shouldn't say easy but relatively easy and the I'm still waiting for the first pipe so you know I haven't even been able to start the work on that yet and that's my fault for not getting the shipping notification out sooner so anyway if you need any pipe work done check out canrodpipes.com and uh, I'd be happy to, to help you out with that as best I can so that's really the, the big exciting news right now I still have some more work I want to do. Um, I still have only gotten that 25%, actually it's more like 20% of the shop uh, organized the way I wanted. And part of that, as I mentioned before, was moving a desk from one side of the, the shop to the other. And now that that's done, that's freed up some space where I can start to move things around on this side. So that corner over there is where I currently do all the pipe work and that corner over there is where the, the desk used to be that corner over there. Uh, so now I can start to organize that corner and hopefully the two will meet somewhere in the middle and then I'll have half the shop organized. Won't that be nice? I haven't put up the Christmas decorations yet. It's been raining. 
Uh, today looks like it's going to be dry, but we've gotten so much rain that the ground's going to be soft, and I don't, uh, I don't really want to tear up the, the the lawn if I can avoid it. That's the lawn in the front of the house. The lawn behind the house, the the dogs have done a number on that, and I don't really care what it, you know. There's, uh, we don't have very nice lawn in, behind our house, but that's okay. We have two very nice dogs, and I, I like to see them running and playing and having a big old time, so such is life. But this is another one of those pipes that I just think handles burly so well. And I think it's because of that uh, somewhat pot-like shape. You can see it's a bit squatter than a bulldog normally would be. A bit wider than the, I'm not a bulldog. Billiard. And a bit wider than a billiard normally would be. Um, but still very classic looking. The bottom's actually flat, so it, it does set. Uh, you can't see that, but it does set. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm impressed by this pipe when it comes to burly smoking. I've had it for a while. This this is uh, a pipe from from Danny Shore, and I don't know if I've talked about this before or not. But I've often thought, and you know, smoking this pipe in particular, I think of this as Danny's pipe, and I I wonder at what point it stops being Danny's pipe and it starts being mine, and. I don't know, it's 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 a curious thing to think about, you know. It's and and I don't mean this in a, in just a sense of ownership. You know, it's obviously mine. You know, we don't have to even talk about that. But when does it become mine? You know, when when is it the pipe that works for me, like all my other pipes do, like the pipe that I bought thirty five years ago at a tinderbox in Pittsburgh and smoke every Wednesday. Um, that pipe is a part of me. You know, it's, it's when I pick it up, it, it, it's as effortless as putting on a comfortable shirt. You know, I shouldn't say effortless. It's not that any other pipe is, requires effort, but it just feels right. That, that's the point that I'm trying to make. It feels right. This one, I enjoy smoking it. It's not in any way disappointing me but when I hold it in my hand it's just not exactly mine I don't know how else to say it um, and I wonder what it is. is is it that magic 100 smokes that where everything changes is it a matter of forgetting and you know building new memories that's probably it not forgetting so much but building the new memories because when I think about this pipe, I think about all the times that uh, Danny might have had with it. And I have not yet had many uh, adventures with it yet myself. So maybe it's just a matter of building those, those memories with this pipe. And eventually I'll have more of those than not. And I'll, I'll feel like it's then really a part of me. Could be. In which case, this conversation right now is part of that process. Um, yeah. And then of course, there's the, the, the higher question of, is anything ever really yours? You know, what, what can you really, truly own? Uh, you know, we know there are things you can't own. We all agree that you, you can't own people, for example. And there's other things, too. Um, we generally frown on people owning countries. Uh, yeah, the, and, and of course, there are, there are substances that are, that are not legal to own. But in a more, in a more uh, 
dare I say, philosophical sense. You know, what can you really own? With you're just you're just temporarily holding on to something, and whether that's because it will eventually pass through your hands, whether that's because it in and of itself is ephemeral, or because you yourself are ephemeral, you you cannot keep any physical um, item for all eternity. Except maybe your body, if you if you believe in the resurrection of the body. Hmm. Well, guys, once again, uh, the the weekend chat has gone in a direction that I would not have predicted. Uh, but I hope you found that to be at least a little bit intriguing. Think about it. What, what can you ever really own? Yeah. Well, folks, um, this Friday, we're going to have a visit from uh, Full Smoking Bar, my buddy Nick. And uh, I've gotten to know Nick over the past year or so. And really enjoy his company and I think you're going to really enjoy his company as well uh, so Friday night at 8 p.m. We'll, we'll be chatting with him I actually have to check the calendar to see what's the following Friday however I want to highlight something that hopefully you've seen in your feed by now on Wednesday December 23rd it's Wednesday because Friday is Christmas on Wednesday December 23rd we're going to have a, a special uh, Cane Rock Pipes Live with a very special guest, uh, Mr. Claus himself, Santa Claus. Um, I was surprised that he agreed to be on the show, but he uh, he had no problem at all with it. He turns out he watches, and uh, he said he had some particular points he wanted to make to a few of the folks that show up in the chat room, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, anyway, that's going to be the, the 23rd of December, 8 p.m., I have made that an age-restricted video in uh, preparation for the directions I imagine this discussion is going to go. <laughs> and the fact that it's got Santa in the, uh, the thumbnail, I'm, I'm, I don't want to accidentally attract any children <laughs> and scar them for life. So anyway, uh, it, it, it's going to be a lot of fun. So if you, if you got the time, you know, mark it on your calendar Wednesday the 23rd of December, 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we're we're going to have some, some holiday-themed fun. And, guys, with that... Ah, one last thing. Flatwater Monty is looking for folks to, uh, to send selfies for his Christmas montage for 2020. Uh, I've talked about this in a couple of videos now, but I'll put links below just in case you haven't uh, seen any of that. Just, just take a look and you'll, you'll get the idea. And send, send Monty a picture. It, uh, it'll be a good thing for all of us to be able to sit back and just see a quick sh snapshot of each, each and every one of us uh, and enjoying a, a, a great holiday. So with that, guys, enjoy your Sunday. Have a fantastic uh, week ahead. And until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.